So let's dive into the magical world of Harvey Comics in today's uh, comic video because we all like Harvey Comics. We are uh, they are known for uh, a variety of licensed characters. They have done uh, Richie Rich comics, which is this guy here, the poor little rich boy. I'll be showing a lot of Richie Riches uh, throughout this video because I do have a lot of uh, Richie Rich comics from Harvey. But I do have a few other characters that Harvey uh, comics has done uh, in the past. Like uh, I do have Casper the Friendly Ghost in my collection. And there's uh, Harvey did a whole bunch of uh, other fr uh, friendly type uh, licensed comic characters and they're just such fun reads uh, their storytelling was really good back in the day because they had a lot of good morals uh, moral value storytelling and it's just uh, they were such a fun uh, company so I thought for an indie uh, video today I thought I'd about talk about Harvey comics because even though they're no longer in uh, production today but they did produce some memorial uh, um, some quality uh, storytelling, some good tales, some fun uh, ventures. They ceased to exist in 1994, unfortunately. They started way back when in the uh, 1940s, I believe. So there's your first uh, fun fact about ha Harvey Comics. I, I, I do buy Harvey Comics because I do like the cartoon t characters, especially uh, Richie Rich. Now, this is a digest I got from my comic book shop. Uh, I gave it to me for free there's from this series there's like nine issues it went from 77 to 80 uh two uh this is number four in that series where he's on vacation this is a cool bronze shade cover i'm not doing reviews in these comments chat this, this is more facts about the publisher of harvey comments because uh i think harvey needs to be brought into light because i don't think a lot of People appreciate some of the uh, creations uh, Harvey's done and what they did for storytelling. Uh, they, like I said, they did a bunch of uh, Richie Rich stories, which is the poor little rich boy who became uh, very wealthy at a young age, and it follows his adventures with him and his friends. And sometimes he gets uh, caught in these adventures and. He has family, he's just a normal kid, but he's just a little more wealthier than us. And I don't know if he's as wealthy as uh, Mr. Burns from The Simpsons, but I don't know, what what would he see, say, would Richie Rich be as wealthy as Mr. Burns from The Simpsons? Uh, uh, it's hard to compare because they both have billions of uh, dollars. Uh, but Richie Rich was uh, uh, created uh, as well way back in the 1940s uh, when Harvey was created and it was just su there's such a cool fun read now this is a older broad shade Richie Rich uh, this was given to me for free because it was uh, how old and how the condition's not there, but I'll still bag and board it. This is 1979, which is uh, really cool. I mean, you can get Richie Rich comics in your dollar bins or $2 uh, bins because uh, they are made for more younger viewers, which is kind of nice. But I still like to read them because they're fun. And there's some cool uh, covers throughout the Richie Rich uh, collection. I, I try to find some that I have in my collection that I, I will show you uh, throughout this uh, video. Uh, but yeah, um, Harvey is also best known for uh, good good creations like and also Wendy the Good Little Witch. I thought I had some comments of the Good Little Witch, but I guess I don't. I uh, wasn't really on my radar over the years. But I do. Ha but uh, Richie Rich and Casper, I did collect um, most. Uh, now this is a fun adventure, and it's an older comment. Uh, I picked this one up for three dollars. Uh, he's on a little adventure and they're trying to get his the mind control so that's pretty uh, fun adventure and like I say uh, Harvey Comics was known for these good uh, wholesome adventures and not violent not anything like that so it's just uh, uh, really cool so I, I read I really like these Richie Rich. So do you guys collect Richie Rich? Do you not? I mean, they're just, uh, again, such fun uh, uh, reads. And like I say, they're also good for uh, moral stories, the good lesson 
uh, story stats sort of thing. So here's another one where a bad guy's out to catch uh, Richie Rich and he's out on the life rest as you can see. Uh, kind of a cool front cover and on his uh, some of his uh, front covers they have his uh, money on there and you can see Harvey Comics. I mean back in the day Richie Rich Comics were only like uh, 25 cents uh, which is pretty cool. So you know it's a brown chase comic when it was in the 1970s when it was a uh, 25 cent cover uh, but I paid a, a dollar for this one so that's not bad I'll give you guys a quick spine slide because the the spine is kind of these are kind of rough uh, uh, covers so there's a bit of damage wear and tear and all of that but the artwork is so great for these uh, older comics I, I can't complain now this one is a really cool cover too. The prices have gone up, but this is 52 pages, not a normal 32. And this is a kind of a black and white cover with his friend Gloria, because Richie Rich had kind of a on-off uh, girlfriend at a young age, uh, you know, and it was just cool that he treats her so well in the comic books, which is what guys should do when they when they like somebody and I just really like this cover uh, there is as you can see water uh, stains on it so whoever, whoever owned this before I did uh, um, did not take care of it so which is why it was a dollar because there is water, water stains that there's creases on the cover and it is just uh, uh, not the greatest condition but I love the cover so much which is why I Picked it up. I mean, for a dollar, you can't go wrong. So let's uh, get into some other um, characters that Harvey's done uh, over the years while they were in production. And like I said, they also created Baby Huey, which is the, this uh, uh, large kind of animal duck here who is friends with Casper the Friendly Ghost. And uh, because the picture screen was not going right, Baby Huey uh, with his big arm. Uh, managed to project the screen so Casper can see so you can know they are uh, friends and all of that so baby Huey's no, uh, just a lovable uh, character and I thought I had some of his comments too but I guess I don't but uh, just a big uh, nice uh, character just like Casper is so uh, this is from 1989 this is more of a copper age area uh, Copper Age where Harvey was still going and they were making Casper. Another one that Harvey did was Sad Sack which is a kind of an army one. This is an older one. It's uh, I believe early 70s. I and I picked this one up uh, for three dollars at my local three flea market. I do like kind of these older uh, style cartoon ones. So what do you guys think? Do you guys collect Sad Sack? Uh, do you not? I just think it's uh, so cool. So and here's another 12 center sad sack. Uh, this is uh, right here. So you know it's 12 cents because it's silver age. Uh, let's just open it uh, because the condition is really poor. And I'll show you guys the inside of it. It is 1967, so that's pretty cool. This is sad sack here, army type uh, comics or cartoon. So it's uh, pretty fun. So 1967, so whenever you see 12 cents, you know it's um, so race. So yes, uh, her, even though Harvey's not as popular right now, but they did produce some uh, non uh, uh non expensive Silver Age stuff if you can't afford the Marvel. I suggest getting this stuff because they are such a fun reason. Unfortunately, the condition is not there, but I didn't have to pay a lot for it, so I was, I was happy. So, um, in summary, uh, Harvey ceased in 1994. Uh, even though it's no longer making uh, new con material, the characters and uh, stories are special to us. Uh, they will live in our hearts forever. And I just think you guys should collect them and read them. And let the younger generation enjoy them too. Because I think once they're gone, they're gone. And I think... Everybody should have Harvey comics in their collection uh, because I, I I just love the Harvey style so much of because of the um, because of the uh, uh, of the storytelling and the artwork on them. So have fun, read comments. Let's uh, take and follow me here on all social media: Instagram, X, uh, probably Twitter. Uh, 
on TikTok. Uh, thanks, everybody. Have a great uh, week. We'll see you next week.